attack his nearsighted arm. So when I think about either being him or being me, this arm is the most important thing he needs to worry about. Right? If he loses control of this arm and lets this go up, he's basically giving me the arm to attack. Right? If he keeps it down and controlled, then it's not going to work for me. I have to go something else. I'm going to attack the far side. Most people are much more accustomed to having this arm attacks. So they have many more uh, defenses and they use that defense many more times. So when we're attacking that near side arm, they tend to be a little less familiar with how to defend that. In order to be able to get this, I need to be able to get his elbow off the mat. So there's nice ways to do that, and there's mean ways to do that. You know, take your pick based upon your preference. Uh, the easiest way for me, I want to be nice, right, is I just want to move his body, right? I can sort of grab his body out, right? I can post my back hand and just drive this up to have that elbow up in the air. Once that elbow's up in the air, what we want to do is I want to pivot on my knee on this side. Slide my foot in so that it comes underneath his shoulder. Right? At the same time, my leg is going to go over his face. When my leg goes over his face, I want to make sure it comes in this way. I don't want it straight. If it's straight, it can't be heavy. I want it this way. And I want my elbow tight to his shoulder. So it looks like this. So here, right? playing around a little bit. I that up. As soon as I feel that elbow come up, that's what I'm going to make this happen. Now, as soon as I land, I'm not waiting. It's right now. Even though I have a better position, there's not a lot of weight here. So immediately upon landing, I'm going to fall on the angle back to the side. So what happens is as I do that, look, the weight of my leg goes right to his face, and it allows me to trap his arm, and once I can bring the other leg over and come back for the finish. Now, the issue with this is, with the guy with a really good hitchhiker, as I fall, it almost I'm helping him hitchhiker a little bit. Right? There's two ways that we can try and counteract that. So one, if I can get his elbow up without pushing his face over, so it's almost, if I can get his face this way and the elbow up, I can prevent the hitchhiker. And then I'll show you that one, I'll show you one of the real trick. So it's basically, if I'm here, I'm playing a little bit, I get him up and I push his face down. So everything else stays the same. But now look, if he goes to try and hitchhiker now, because his face is facing me instead of facing away, it's gonna be extremely difficult for him to do so. I can get that finish. Okay? Remember always when you're thinking about controlling the person at the bottom, his controls the ability to move, face controls the direction. So if I'm here, right, he's able to easily move this way, but he can't move the other way. If I'm here, him trying to hitchhiker, it's gonna be very, very difficult. But the other way is this. You do everything the same thing as you the first time. So here I get up, right? I can press here, I can move over. And then as he starts to go, I bring this over and bring the arm back this way. So that can help him out that. The cool part about this is if I'm a little too slow and he still gets all the way over, and look where I'm at. Already in the middle of the